Bachman Academy, which is in Tennessee, right? It is, yeah. just north of Chattanooga. Just north of Chattanooga. So tell us, what should families know about Bachman Academy? Well, families should really know that Bachman Academy is an academic school, but it's for students with learning differences, okay. like ADHD, okay. dyslexia, and some mild Asperger's. Uh -oh. and, and, and how big is the school? You know, what kind of programs do you have? How do you work with students? Okay. Sort of thing? itself is very small and that's by choice because we want to keep that student teacher ratio down to a certain minimal amount. So at present we have 30 students. Those are middle and high school. And the thing that we do is a lot of most of our students are going on to college. We have some that are not, but we also as part of their hands-on elective learning, we have horticulture, we have the equestrian program, we have woodworking, and we have um, auto mechanics. So they can be involved in those as an elective while still you know pursuing a college and career type path. So if they decide that you know maybe college isn't the right option for Absolutely. them, they have a skill set that they can that Absolutely. they can then pursue. And... Absolutely. We feel like that everyone should lead there with a skill set. Right. We hope to add culinary arts within the next school year, which is going to be an additional thing which is especially of interest to girls. Although interestingly, our girls love auto mechanics. It's just really kind of fun to see them and no one's ever going to take advantage of them in auto mechanics yeah. because they've got those those skills down pat. But they really are in a good college course. We have um, great hands-on learning techniques. Our reading specialist is wonderful. Her undergraduate was in drama. Okay. So when they do reading, it's a major production. One of the things I love most is we have um, a lake on the property. We have, of course, our whole campus is 210 acres of wooded Tennessee countryside, which is wonderful. Now, where is Murfreesboro in relation to? Oh, this is uh, Murfreesboro would be close. They're, they're probably almost two hours away to the west, northwest of, of where the school is. Oh, okay, so where McDonald. Okay, okay, okay. But they would be there. The reading specialist on it just recently. I mean, they were they were studying the last of the Mohicans. And she's standing on the bank reading the story, and the students are paddling in in canoes. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the hands-on kind of learning, and the students don't forget that. And what, what, is there a particular uh, academic model or academic philosophy that you follow? Well, we really use a variety. As far as curriculum, we've, we've really met the curriculum around the needs of, I mean, we use like Wilson Reading, et cetera, for dyslexic students. So we use traditional methods, but often we are writing our own curriculum using those methods that are most known for learning differences. So you're, you're, you're willing to adapt to the needs of the student? We adapt totally to the needs of the student. We have one particular student who is in, now has gone into high school who we had to find that right way to teach science and math, and he was very interested in, in chickens, which is interesting. Not from the standpoint of raising them like 4-H, which is a wonderful program, but he's actually going to be genetic, you know, genetically breeding them, and he has created already his own breed of chickens. But from that, scientifically, you know, he is learning like how to bring that embryo into, you know, what it takes to monitor that, the temperatures, how you create that, and he, he recently had one pair of chickens that was appraised at $2,000, you know, that he has created these, but we find what is the interest of the student. Mm -hmm. We have one student, of course, the family does pay extra for this, because he's actually in flight school. We take him right after school, and he's learning to be a pilot. You know, we have others in, in outside activities are involved in, you know, Eagle Scout programs. So, I mean, we are encouraging them to remain as regular teenagers would be involved in the community, but yet living and boarding with us. So, so how would a family find Bachman Academy? Is there a website that they can visit? There is. Yeah. There is. We have a more, our website set up more as a blog right now. Okay, it's, great. It's www.bachmanbachmanacademy.org. -E okay, Bachman Academy. Bachmanacademy.org, and they'll find our, our telephone number, our email address, that sort of thing. Also, in some of the places like College Surfing Network, things like that, you'll see us on other sites. Okay. But come directly to our site or give us a call because we really feel like we have a lot to offer. We really encourage success. That's our biggest thing every day. We celebrate every small success. We feel like that's what makes our students so different is that they come from backgrounds of often failure. And yet when they come there and they start grasping concepts, I mean, we've had high school students who couldn't read before they came sure. because of dyslexia. But now to come and to be able to read and to learn and to grow how excited they are. We've added Young Marines this year, which is a wonderful program, and the students love being involved in that. And that's built leadership and another sense of pride. And so all of these things factor into what's already a great academic program, but adding those other skills like the horticulture and the woodworking and auto mechanics and equestrian just gives them more confidence, more life skills, and then regardless of what they do, they're going to be successful and they can do and be anything they want.
So if, if a family said, you know, in December, look, we need to change scenery for our child, they, they're, they're not feeling that sense of success and we want to instill that in them, is Bachman Academy set up to take kids mid year? Yes, we, have, we actually have a rolling enrollment. We take students throughout the entire year. Okay. So we have had some come in as late as spring break. And, you know, and then they're kind of established well for the next upcoming year. But we do have that, that rolling enrollment, and we do accept seniors, which a lot of schools are not able to do. Do you do PGs, postgraduates? Yes, but we, what we do is usually we talk with the family ahead of time with the postgraduates, and then they would stay over. They would have like a certificate of completion that senior year, but they need one more year to kind of emotionally catch up and to, to become really more at their age level as far as going out to the world. Even though we're not a therapist, okay. but we have a therapist and we have a nurse on staff full time. And you said just one last question before we yes. move on to the next one. Um, six through twelve, so you take boarding in sixth grade. Yeah, yeah. It depends on the student, actually. Okay. But most of the time, we have accepted. We accept the student most of the time. They fit our criteria to actually board. Okay, great. You know? well, well, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the meeting. I will. It's great talking with you.